Uh, hey guys, uh, thanks for watching my another LBX review. Well, it's quite a long time that I don't have an uh, LBX review that I've did. So, today I got another LBX. This is um, the Hyperfunction Emperor. But as I said it before, I don't like to call it a new series. It's, I'll just say it's just an Emperor. So, let's see the box first. In the box, you see the beautiful uh, box art of Emperor, and yep, um, double Sanki. It is made again in Japan in 2013. Nothing. And inside, you can see that there is the core skeleton of um, Emperor. The core skeleton. This is the painted one. Um, you get it is a white core skeleton, not like the others. It's black one. There's details, good articulation, um, very easy to put on armors. The body color is uh, made by um, a lot of plastic, don't need, uh, requires much uh, stickers. It is all plastic. Very good actions, and they give you a cloth cape. Um, some uh, clear stickers and some hand parts and his weapon titania nothing inside special attack uh, impaku kaiser and some action poses um, parts you can uh, just break them off barcode other stuffs so let's going to see the figure itself this is lbx emperor well it's focusing. Focus. Well, okay. This is Emperor. So, since it's a hyperfunction line, but I don't like to say the hyperfunction, it is, um, yeah. You'll see that this is, um, the core skeleton's helmet. Let you sh I'll show it. Well, see? The sticker wise, um, the only eyes is a sticker. I remember that there is a sticker in the chest. Because the core skeleton is a white color, so you can see that there is in the chest there is a yellow and black stripe strip uh, sticker, an X color. Yep, uh, this is just only the sticker they give you. Um, let you see, let you guys see the CPU. The CPU is also located in the chest. Well, just like the WLBXs, just press down, then you can get the chest piece out, the CPU. Well, let you guys see it. Well, I just don't know. Yeah, it's quite hard to see, but it's actually a clear, light blue plastic. Um, it is um, marked by some uh, thing that it marks it's very beautiful it's not like the LBX before that it's um, the stickers so you just put back easy like that put back the um, protection uh, armor piece uh, here see you just get I'll take out the back Oops, yeah, I'll see that because it's um made by a lot of plastic, so the armor is actually not that um stable. That means I, I mean solid. Oops, yeah, see things just pop off. Ah, uh, okay, I just put back the chest piece on. Ah, uh, wait, sorry, yeah. I'm just showing him, but the armors are keep on falling. Yep, this one you'll see that this is a, the core skeleton. These are the armors. Well, I'll just pluck it back first. Well, there you can see that there's some holes there, and there's some holes. Then you just pluck them back. Oops, how to pluck them? Oh, uh, what? Well, 
I just don't know how to plug it. Yeah, I, I just know that it's just some holes, then just plug it in it. Yep, okay. Let's see articulation first. First, the head, it has a ball joint, you can move it. Well, I'll put back the helmet. You can just do some a lot of poses like this. Uh, then, his hands, it can go up like this. Then, uh, the shoulder pads can move. Mm, a swivel there. Um, very nice double joint there. You can go about um, 120 degrees. Then you just put it back. Then the hands here is a ball joint, you see. You can just move some aerial poles. This is the open hand, you see. It's like this. Yeah. It's the same as the others. Then the waist, you can just do some uh, slightly uh, move joints. The skirt can all flip up. There's no more, um, the armors won't block the articulation, even though the back one you can lift up, up. So you can do a lot of aerial poses on Emperor, but I don't recommend do a lot of aerial pose because um, I'm afraid that the, the armors of the Emperor will get uh, broke. Yeah, because, yeah, you see in the shoulder pads, there's about 20 plastic, you see? All these horns are separate pl plastics. Yeah, a lot of plastic. So, um, even though this the armor here, the well focusing. Do you see the M inside the chest? It's actually a. It's like um quite a bit red. I think I th I think this is um. Pink, yeah, an M. I don't know what it means, but it's just like Achilles. Achilles one is is um, V one V, and this time they give you something awesome that is what it falls. Yeah, I said the the armors are not stabilized. Well, sorry, I am just trying. Okay, let's see the back. Now the back is a cloth cape again. Um, yeah, see this cloth. You don't need to cut out um, any um, in any instruction manuals cape. It's yeah. They, they give you um, plastic joint there. Well, actually, I put some glue on it. Yeah, glue. Yeah, because when you play too much, the second joint there. The joint there will get loose and it will just fall off uh, very easily. So I just stick it so you can just now just do a poses like that and like this. Well, actually, it's clipped on the plastic by this little part. Well, it's too bright. Yeah, this part's to uh, put on the holes there. Well, i uh, just make the cape straight first. Yeah, because it's really ugly if you put the cape... Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um... Also, his legs articulation are very nice. It can do some... More than 90 degrees uh, leg... Leg, um... Poses. And joint there is also movable. Also, it can go upwards. Yeah, it's quite nice that do it. But um, in the show, they can it can like this, and also the yeah, it's just like that. It's like the show, and also there's also a joint there. You can move it. Pretty awesome. So now we're going to see his um, emperor's weapon. Well, his emperor, his weapon, the um, large um, metal hammer. Titania. Um, this is all made by plastic, except there are some stickers um, inside there. The little, this little um, gray sticker inside. It's um, yeah. But um, you need to be careful. Only one thing that um, is the handle here. You'll see that um, the hammer is extremely heavy, 
and this is just like a, something like tooth, toothpick like that. So careful, uh, uh, you will get damaged. So to pull it on the hand, you just open this and just slide into his hands and just put the it back. So you'll get Emperor holding his giant Titania. Yeah. Also, yeah, I change. See, I say that the the emperor. Yeah, he's so solid. The hyperfunction line, but it's very good to playable. Maybe you can just stick all the armors. Then it's okay. Well, this is an open plan, and this is um a finger like like. You see that this is the like for the right for the left hand. Also, he gives the um, fist. Oops, sorry. This is the fist. They didn't give any um, core skeleton fist. It's just only the um, emperor's fist. Just need to remove the um, knuckles. Yeah. And they give you this. Um, they give you two original of uh, core skeleton feet. It's white color. And also the um, armor taking out the thing there, but. Yeah, I just used it in the normal LBXs. So, this is Emperor. Maybe I should just take out the colorful box to see uh, his color. It's too bright. Yeah, it's too bright. See, this is the Emperor. See, this is just cool. This is just amazing, see? See? Emperor. Yeah, well, yeah, hope you like my videos, mm, yeah, my next video maybe I'll do it at first, I'll do it in Friday, because in first day I need to build dot blast laser, then I'll finish build it, and I'll, in Friday I'll do it. So, hope you like my videos, just like the emperor what he did, see, I'll just put the back in the box. I'll get, oops, well I'll just show one more thing to you, that the open flame, you just take out the knuckles, see, the knuckles, put it away, then you just put it into the um, hands of the um, emperor, the, what, yeah this, the open flame, like this, it's like, just put it on, and also it's um not straight like this. It's quite curved like this, yeah. So yeah, hope you enjoy my videos. Yeah, just take it easy. Hope you like it. Um, put uh comments down in the comment section. So hope you like my videos. Mm, take it easy. Have a nice day. Bye bye.